Hey guys, welcome back to another Redbeard Outdoors episode. Today, I'm gonna to be putting this aluminum U channel and turn it into a drainage channel for the back part of the horse trailer right here. And essentially, this is gonna go right here, right up here. And it will divert water from draining down in through that door crack right there and the issue is it comes off the roof and it sheets down and runs down hits the door and then goes in that way and puts a lot of water inside of the trailer so this is my solution to help fix that and let me show you why it does that as you can see the door kind of sticks out on this side a lot more so a lot more water gets in right there and then we have another drainage channel right here and all of its water it hits the hinges and puts a lot of water down right here and on the floor of the the trailer inside there so the end goal is to uh definitely get water away from all this with the ac running there's a lot of condensate that runs down and it drains right here too and as you can see dripping right here it gets inside of all of this stuff water does so I don't want my hinges wet all the time I don't want the back of my trailer wet all the time so that's why I'm gonna put that channel up and hopefully fix this problem here's the other drainage channel Right there and then this is the surface I'm going to put it across the only thing I'm having an issue with is these welds right here so I'm gonna have to grind those down just a little bit here and here as you can see a lot of water got in here so I'm really hoping this helps fix the problem Perfect. I used a cutting wheel instead of a grinder. It actually works really well. Um, maybe even a little bit cleaner than what a grinder would have done. But I'll leave that up to you guys. Okay, next up. I've already went and located three screw locations that I'm gonna put in this thing. And there's one on each end and one in the middle. And I'm going to give it kind of an arc when I put it up there. Uh, I'll show you guys when it's up there. But uh, I'm gonna pre-drill the hole. And then I also have a self-tapping screw um, that I'll be using. So just to make my life easier, I'm gonna pre-drill the hole. And I'm actually going through both sides of the channel here. There's some number 12s inch and a half long to give it enough bite to, to set this in there pretty good I almost did a one inch but I didn't think it was enough bite to hold it in so I went with an inch and a half guys I'm not too happy where I put that hole I 
should have thought is a little bit harder but after seeing it in person you don't really know until you do it but it's too close to the edge there and i needed to get it up higher so i'm gonna make another hole i'm just gonna have to caulk this one shut so don't make the same mistake that i did in for now just have the placeholder take a file and clean this up a little bit because I want it as smooth as possible. So I know it's not ideal to have a screw going through your drainage channel, but I could only find this U-shaped aluminum. Um, I looked a lot of places and this I found this at Menards but if you could find like a J shaped one that had an extra lip up here you could put the screws up on that that upper part and not have to drill through it like I am and then your your drainage channel won't be as blocked as mine is so if you can find one great I couldn't I looked everywhere for it um, if you have access to an aluminum shop or something, maybe they'll have it, but I did not. So I just, I just grabbed this at Menards. It was really cheap, so cheap and easy project. All right, next up, I'm gonna go mount the, the channel up there. Let's see how this goes. Um, I got an ideal location where I want it and it, it needs to be perfect. I'm gonna line it up and I'm gonna do the middle one first because I'm gonna apply a bin to it and then I'll do the outside ones next. So that channel I bought at Menards is eight foot and my trailer is exactly eight wide right there. So it's like the perfect length. There's just a little bit of overhang, but I'm okay with that because I'm trying to shoot the water away from the trailer. But there's only like one centimeter overhang. It might go away once I bend it some. The metal, the aluminum over here on this side is a little bit tougher. Um, I'm going to uh, try to pre-drill it with this one, my spare screw here, and uh, make it a little bit easier than having it inside that channel. You guys won't believe what happened to me just now. But as I look at this closer, these bolts, bolts on that bracket right there that one just broke and I can see that that one's about to break it's like it's rusted out or something what poor design if they used non stainless steel screws that's not good looks like I'm gonna have to fix that now on there I think water damage has destroyed that bolt there's a lot of water off that drainage channel that runs onto that there's just a lot of water right here gave it a little bow to it and there's that side 
All right, now I'm gonna take her down, do some filing and some cleaning, and then we'll put some caulk on there and uh, get it a little bit better seated to the trailer there. I'm going to preset the screws again and then we're going to caulk the back side. gotta be hard especially by yourself especially with that curve to it No water in the back. It's working very well. You can kind of see there's not even water under the lift there. Here's a runoff spot right here. That's going to do it for today's episode, guys. I hope you found this useful for this drainage channel. I'm sure with the right application, you could use the same mindset somehow on an RV uh, or your horse trailer. So, hope this helped you. If it did, or you have any questions, please leave a comment. Make sure to subscribe and hit the like button. And I'll catch you guys on the next Red Beard Outdoors episode. Remember, get outdoors. <laughs>